All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the difference between a factorial versus a subfactorial. And most of you watching this video probably know what a factorial is, but a lot of you probably don't know what a subfactorial is. So let's go back and recall what a factorial is. A factorial is, let's say we have one factorial. This is gonna equal one. Two factorial, this is gonna equal two. And three factorial, this is equal to six. How did I get to these values? Well, one factorial is just, you just start with one. Two factorial is you do two times one and three factorial, you do three times two times one. So you start with this number here and you multiply by n minus one times n minus two until you reach the number one. So four factorial, I want you guys to try this, what would this be? This would be four times three times two times one, which is 24. Now that we know what a factorial is, how would we calculate something like subfactorial of three? Well, what a subfactorial is, is it's the factorial, so let me actually write the formula. So a subfactorial is a factorial times the summation of zero through n of negative one to the power of k over k factorial. So I know this may seem a little complicated right now, but let's go ahead and try to find the subfactorial of three. So the subfactorial of three using this formula is gonna be three factorial times the summation of zero to three of negative one to the power of k over k factorial. And to solve this, we get three factorial times negative one to the power of zero over zero factorial, because we start with zero, and then now we're gonna, k is gonna turn into one, because remember, every repetition, we add one with, to k. So now k is gonna be one, so I have negative one to the power of one over one factorial plus negative one to the power of two over two factorial and finally plus negative one to the power of three over three factorial and if you guys still don't understand how to do summation i would recommend going to watch a video on it so now to simplify this just turn it into three pi times negative one to the power of zero is just one, and zero factorial is also one, plus negative one to the power of one is negative one, one factorial is one, plus negative one squared is positive one, over two factorial, which is two, plus negative one to the power of three is negative one, over three factorial, which is six. So now, three factorial is six, so I get six, times one over one plus negative one over one plus one half plus negative one over six. And actually, I can actually multiply six with all of these terms. Six times one over one is gonna equal six over one. Then I have minus six over one plus six over two plus six over six. And this turns into six minus six plus three plus one. Sorry, this is actually supposed to be minus one, which turns into zero plus two, which is equal to two. Meaning, subfactorial of three is two. So this is just a cool concept I wanted to show you guys that school doesn't teach you. So thank you and please subscribe.